Yeah. Stop wasting money on things you don't use. Cancel your unwanted subscriptions and make and manage your money the easy way. You know what I wonder if they have a clause for? The sponsored children. I wonder if they cancel those. <laughs> Dude, I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. <laughs> when you call, do they go, hold on, let me go get them. Yeah, <laughs> you can tell them yourself and they bring the kid in. <laughs> or they just have one kid. Like they just have yeah. one like Spanish kid. A child actor. No, but no, oh, 40 bucks a month. You can't do it anymore. Oh, okay. No, oh, no, no. Okay. Oh, so you're just not going to. So I'll, So what do you want me to do? No, I just didn't think you would ever do something like this, but it's fine. Uh, Apple TV. Only fans. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Get, yeah. Oh. Which are you going to keep? How to? Yeah. <laughs> Only fans and the kid in Africa are going to yeah. show up right next to each other and you're going to make a decision. The girl in LA or <laughs> the kid in Chad. <laughs> That's terrible. Tour dates, baby. Going this weekend to Ottawa, Ontario, Peterborough, Ontario, London, Ontario. And then uh, wrapping up the month of September in Myrtle Beach, baby. Roanoke, Virginia, October Greensboro, North Carolina, Atlanta, Georgia, the Fox Theater, Birmingham, Cedar Rapids, Springfield, Evansville, wrapping up the month and in November, we're hitting Columbus, Ohio, Joliet, uh, Illinois, Rockford, Milwaukee, Win it back to Manitoba, uh, Winnipeg, Edmonton is out in Alberta, Calgary, Reading, PA, York, Pennsylvania, Norfolk, per I think it's Norfolk, Virginia. Richmond, Virginia, and Abilene, Texas. And we're on tour in, in uh, the month of December as well, a couple weekends before Christmas. We out here, Rocket Money, baby. Are your subscriptions draining your wallet? The yes. average person, are they? Yes. Oh, yeah. That was so it. many. Yeah. It said, pause, wait for producer <laughs> feedback. Yeah. <laughs> the average person has around 12 paid subscriptions. You got more or less than that. I got way more than that. I got more than that. I got yeah. definitely more than that. Not a flex. I just have way yeah, more. Yeah, not than a that. flex at all. No. An opposite of a flex. Yeah. What is the one? That, oh, I got one. I got one at the uh, freaking. We get in fights about this all the time. The car wash. Yeah, I have one of those. You do? Yeah. Okay, where? The one by my house? Mm, I used to have that one when I okay. lived over that way. So they go. I have the same one, other side of town. They go, hey. I, he goes, do you come here? The guy's standing by the thing. Right. And he goes, do you come? I go, I don't know. Pretty. He goes, well, if you just. I can give you a free upgrade and you get free you can get free car washes for a month yep. if you sign up. And it's you, you have to do nothing. Yep. You just have to go, okay, that's it. Yep. And I I I I go all the time and I go, no, I'm I, I'm from out of town. Uh -huh. I've been lying to the guy <laughs> for my, and Lydia's like, dude, just set just, it's actually probably cheaper. Yeah. I go, yeah, but I don't want to have to remember. Yes. To well, and that's where they this. get you cuz cuz they just did the same thing to me. And those they're and it was, killing if by you the way. don't yeah. If you don't cancel it yourself, it's yeah. fifty bucks a month for that. It is yes. So I, or if you don't cancel, after if you a don't month. cancel it after that free month, it's and fifty it's just a month going. Yes, yeah. This is the, probably the problem with America. This, that's it, and that's, that's why we yeah. have all the problems we have. And rocket money, and rocket <laughs> money, baby. Uh, you might remember subscribing to half of those. If you have no idea just how much you're spending each month, you need r r r r r rocket money. It's a great app that allows you to track all your expenses so you know exactly where your money is going. That blew blew my mind when I found out over 80% of people have subscriptions they've forgotten about. That's mm. accurate yep. for sure. Think of how many free trials you've subscribed to that you never canceled. There it is. I'm, I'm such a big fan of Rocket Money. There are subscriptions for everything these days from streaming services to fitness programs. Sometimes it feels impossible to keep tabs. Everything paying month to month. That's why get yourself rocket money. Get an app. It's a personal finance app that finds and cancels your un. They, I think they send someone to the car wash. <laughs> someone goes out there from corporate. They go, hey, you got to stop doing. They just show up in a rocket money polo. Yeah, like, you got to stop doing. Chris, hey like man, this. leave John alone. Yeah, like, dude, I thought it was more like online. He goes, no, they send somebody. <laughs> yeah, they send somebody over. Just there. a jack, yeah. dude. It's like former. And it's like bouncers. a guy that's like he, He's like, I don't. I just started working here yesterday. Yeah. He's like, you know, what you're doing to Chris, and it's done. Yeah, we know. Yeah, exactly. we know what you're doing. <laughs> Cut it out. I wish they would do that. <laughs> uh, I just don't want to get. I just don't want to get taken. Yeah, of like course. I feel like I'm getting uh, like cheated. Yeah, that's when I go. All right, we're, yeah, yeah. Anyway, you can e cancel the e cancel easily cancel the ones you don't want. Just press of a button. No more long hold times or annoying emails with customer service. 
With over 3 million users and counting, Rocket Money customers have saved an average of 720 bucks a year. That's crazy. Stop saving money. All right. I had a, uh, let me just finish this call to action. Stop yeah. wasting money on things you don't use. Cancel your unwanted subscriptions and make and manage your money the easy way by going to rocketmoney.com slash net positive. That's rocketmoney.com slash net positive or hit the link in the description below. You know what I wonder if they have a clause for? What? Again, so the 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 ad read is over. Ad read done. Yeah, ad read according to Rocket Money is done. Yes. The um <laughs> the the the, the sponsored children. <laughs> dude, I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. Dude, I know. They're like, you pay this all right, you go to the, ninety nine a month. If you ever been to like a Christian concert, <laughs> I went to one uh, 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 Brandon Lake and Phil Wickham at, at Bridgestone two weeks ago. Hot and show. they still did it. Yeah. They're still doing it. Wow. The sponsor, if you'd like to sponsor a child, raise your hand. Yep. And they come around and they give you, we've talked about this on the show before. Yeah. I wonder if they cancel those because wow. that's the one. Because my buddy was telling me during during quarantine, he was out. He had to cancel. He go. He had to cancel it. Yeah. He had to call the one eight hundred number, and he knows the kid, the name, and the face, and he's written <laughs> handwritten letters to him. Yeah. And he goes, "I can't do it anymore." Do they, when you call, do they go, "Hold on, let me go get him." Yeah. <laughs> you can tell him yourself, and they bring the kid in. And he goes, "Hello." Or they just have one kid. Like they just have yeah. one like Spanish kid, a child actor <laughs> that he's just sitting there on the phone playing Xbox, but it's talking to a- Americans, canceling things, and he's guilting them into staying on. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, nothing. I was just in the fields. Like I was just, uh, I, I, I want to kind of make a joke about that, but yeah, I was just working illegally. <laughs> yeah. What's up? No, but no, oh, forty bucks a month. You can't do it anymore. Oh, okay. No, oh, no, no. Okay. Oh, so you're just not gonna. So I. So what do you want me to do? Just. Okay. No. <laughs> No, I just didn't think you would ever do something like this, but it's fine. If I mean, Rocket Money just yeah. completely tanked the child yeah. sponsorship industry. Yo, chill. <laughs> the, no, they go, all right. They list they list them all. Mm-hmm. It ha- All right. This is a made up, but they that, that is in there. I'm sure it is. It has to be in there. Yes, you obviously because, opt to cancel or not to cancel. But like, and that's a, yeah. it's, a, it's a recurring. Yeah. So it's not, you don't sign up every month to pay. Right. It's, you put in your card and it's recurring. By the nature of Rocket Money, that has to be in there. Has to show up. And so you go, uh, Apple TV, uh, Stretch Labs or whatever. I, I went to this gym that was not a gym. It, they just stretch you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm familiar. Yeah. I had one of those. Yeah. And you go, oh, I can't. Oh, yeah. 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 Only fans. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Get, yeah. Oh. Which are you going to keep? How to, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Only fans. Only fans would have to be in there too. Yeah, for sure. That's what I'm saying. I don't have any of them, but it has to be in there. They're gonna only fans and the kid in Africa are gonna show up right next to each other, and you got to make a decision. I just I get the thing. The girl in L.A. or (laughs) the kid in Chad. (laughs) That's terrible. Well, you do it like I just like the idea like of of sketch is like Rocket Money in real life, like going to the going to. So he comes to your door, yeah, and he has all of them, yeah, and he sits down with you, yeah. So he goes, now tell me about. Apple TV. And you yeah. go, all right, I liked the thing with the soccer coach, yep. whatever that show was. Lasso, yep. I liked it. I didn't, and I like um, the guy in uh, Eastbound and Down and Righteous yep. Gemstones. Yep. I'm a huge fan of him. I can't remember his name off the top of my head. Uh, Danny uh, McBride. Danny McBride. I love his work. Yep. So, and I liked it when, but now there's nothing on there. I've seen everything. So it's just sitting there. You go, all right. And cut that one. So tell me about OnlyFans. Yeah. And you're like, no. <laughs> or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> There's got to be a lot. That's got to be a, yeah. You just the get judgment. A, you just get an email back. Yeah. And you go, yeah, it's funny. Anyway, <laughs> shout out Rocket Rocket Money. Love Welcome em. to have you along. Heck yeah. Uh, new country. Shouting out. We are charting in. Andrew. Thailand. Ooh. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> Too excited. Excited? Too Very excited, excited for Thailand. I'll tell you that. Liam Neeson, Taken. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, we just had a Taken segment last did episode, we? Right? I don't think we They did. go to Thailand for yeah. that? Do they? Yeah, yeah. One of I the Taken that... episodes is because I'm pretty one? sure... Taken 1, the guys were Albanian. Yeah. But I'm pretty sure they... I know they go to that? Thailand. <laughs> I'm a little pissed. <laughs> yeah. I'm a little pissed for them. You were like, dude. Yeah, it's like, yeah. come on, guys. Right, really? Why? Yeah. Yeah. That's like... Weird, every... Like, weird shot. Like, why them? Yeah, why are you taking shots? Yeah, it's like people have that live, like, have a... um. 
uh, like a lake house on the Ozarks and it's like a nice suburban neighborhood <laughs> with an HOA. He's like, dude, we're not laundering money. We don't have heroin fields aplenty out <laughs> yeah. here. Like, what are you doing? He's like, dude, aplenty. you live in Ozarks? I mean, it's crazy. I'm yeah. like, no, dude. I put a, a cushion on my porch and they <laughs> removed it because it was against the HOA. Yeah. You're like, oh, I thought it was different. Yeah. No, somebody asked me, I was playing golf this week and they asked me about Nashville. They go, like the show? I go, <laughs> they go, is it like the show? Where were we? I've never seen the show. Gosh, we're, oh, oh, we're playing, oh yeah, we're, we're playing golf. We were playing golf with a guy and his wife and his wife asked me, is it like the show? Do they go to Tootsie's? <laughs> I go, I mean, we, so, I do, I've been there. How do they paint Tootsie's on the show? I don't is it know, just I have like no idea. like a pop-in bar? Like- yeah, but every show... Based on that's a good one to every based on the show you're like dude yeah it's not like this no not yeah there's a thousand of them Thailand is Hangover two no no I'm like ninety not Taken Google two it. Google it I'm pretty sure that they go to Thailand on, in t- one, one of the Takens because yeah. I'm also pretty confident that Thailand has one of the most like dangerous yeah, sex yeah. trafficking. That's where our rings. joke was. You were too excited about it. You go, oh, oh. yeah. That's what's a weird <laughs> thing. Some businesses. Well, so, I, just yeah. over there. I feel like half the time I have no idea what to say when you yeah. do that. And oh, then yeah. when I have <laughs> yeah. Liam Neeson pops in my head, I'm like, it. heck yeah. Yeah, I bet. See, all right, perfect example. There's probably a lot of good people in, uh, uh, is it? It's not taken. It's a movie called Broke Down Palace. Yeah. Different than but broke down. same exact yeah. premise. Different than Broke Down Mountain. Not Liam Neeson. Yeah, yeah very different. Yeah. Broke Back Mountain. Yeah. Broke back. yeah. Now, I wonder where, the, where <laughs> it, it was. Yeah, because I bet there's like Thailand, perfect example. I bet the guy's like, he, he does business in America. He's like, I live in Thailand. They're like, oh, yeah. And he's like, no, dude, right. I just like live in the suburbs. Yeah. Have either of you been there? Thailand, I've no. never been there. Mm-mm. I've been on a layover there, but I never went down to the, the red light district. That's a long flight, yeah. man. Yeah. That's a lot. I would like to go to a lot of places, but then I, I go, like you just went and you're like, I'm not. I feel that way about hours. Like, I feel that way about Australia. Yeah, like I'll I'll go at some point, but I'm, I'm gonna to go have there. to do yeah. like three weeks. And, and also, then... we have money. Yeah, we can. Yeah, sure. sure. But, yeah, <sighs> that's a long flight, man. That's a long. Give me some flight. teleportation. Let's make Thailand. I'm trying to think of no, nobody tours there. No comics tour there. <sighs> I bet the yeah. What's the capital? Bangkok. Nice. I know that from a ludicrous song. Nice, dude. <laughs> it's one of your area codes. Yeah. <laughs> so our Bangkok take on Thailand. In Bangkok. Yeah, yes. that's a Thailand. That, wait, that doesn't make any sense. Ludicrous. All right. No, that's one of his more questionable lines. Yeah. Man, that's a great thing. He's from Atlanta, though. Mm-hmm. I don't know what I really know about it over there. I know it's very cheap once you get there. Yeah. Oh, stuff is cheap. Yeah. 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 Like once you get off the flight and then you're just there, it's very, you're you can like, be very frugal. Yeah. You probably can live like, lo- yeah. Probably lots of bathroom breaks, I would assume, because the food, right? Yep. Oh, Thai food. My stomach couldn't hang on. Oh, there. yeah, not yet. I can't, hey, I can't go anywhere. I can't, I, I need to, yeah. Strict diet of Chick fil A and. Now be M&Ms. roasted. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'd be very close. Red Bull. You can get a Coke anywhere in the world, though. True. We were talking on Nate's podcast uh, last or this week about, uh, the, we were talking about this, Georgia, mm. where I'm from. And we were like, and I go, Coca Cola. Yeah. It's like, you can go anywhere in the, Anywhere on the planet Earth, and get that. Yeah, you can go any. You can be an. You're nowhere on planet Earth within an hour of a Coke. Arguably, most successful brand in the world. Made in Georgia. I mean, I got yeah. yeah Coca Cola, no, no. Nike. Yeah, just right up there. Stuff you'll see uh, anywhere. Coca Cola. Uh, I'm talking about any uh, in the world. Yeah, in the I mean, world. Tra- well traveled. Yeah, in the world. Yeah, because you're not going to see. Apple, I was. You're no. not going to see any of that. Mm-mm. You're not going to see Tesla. No. Nope. You're not going to see IBM. You're not gonna, now. They, the products might be. You're not going to see it. I think McDonald's is probably on the list. McDonald's. I would say yeah. McDonald's, Coke, and Nike. Yeah. Yeah, gotta be. Co- yeah, it's gotta be everywhere. Yeah, everywhere. Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson. Yeah. <laughs> That's a, is that uh, Thailand? Thailand accent. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. We just got back off tour. Yeah. How's Shout it? out, by back the way, road. we're in Oklahoma City on Thursday night. My good, my man, Weston. Yeah. Young kid came through to, came through the uh, meet and greet with his parents. Oh, sweet, dude. Yeah. And he said he was a big fan of the pod. Love that. Weston is out here. What's dude. up, Weston? Shout out for Weston in Oklahoma City. Thanks for watching. Uh, my guy. A lot, of, a lot of unbelievable people came through uh, the meet and greet. We were in, um, funny story, we're in, in Tulsa, Oklahoma. And, it's it was the, we're at the Tulsa Theater, and he goes. I was playing golf. He goes, "Where are you playing at?" He goes, he, "The guy goes to his other guy. He's like, oh, he's downtown at the Brady Theater.'" I go, 
no, I think I'm at the Tulsa Theater. He goes, well, I go, oh, there's like a oh. name, there's like a name switch thing. Interesting. Yeah, and I go, what happened? He goes, well, Brady was like the leader of like the KKK. Tough look. Yeah, or not the leader, but you know how it's always like some association. You're like, all right, sure. we gotta we gotta change it. I don't think you need to be the leader for that to be controversial. No. I think it's just being any just, type of yeah. involved. Just went already, to a meeting. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. Inquired. Sympathized with yeah. them. Yeah. yeah. Responded back to the text yeah. more information. Oh yeah. yeah. Opted into this SMS text list. <laughs> <laughs> if you probably yeah. If you are interested in like a billboard, yeah. just drive by this this uh mailbox and grab up. We got him. He stood up and went, <laughs> let's hear him out. And everyone went, no, 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 no. no. <laughs> yeah. But he had a, a, a Mandel, who's a comic that was out with us this weekend, black black kid. Yeah. Not a kid. He's probably in his 20s. Yeah. He goes, that's crazy that he wasn't known for anything else. Yeah. He's not like a businessman or like a philanthropist that was also associated. Like, he was the best racist. <laughs> I don't know. I, yeah, I might be speaking on a turn here, but he was like, he was just known for being the best. Like he was so good at racist racism. that they were like, we're going to name this after you. Dude. You're like, really good at this. There was like somebody got like a, a plaque at City Hall. Somebody got like a street. And he goes, dude, we got to get up. We got to get a building. That man you. deserves the dude, You have it. Yeah. <laughs> so we, so he, he was, they were making jokes about it the whole time. And then I, like, I came on stage. So Caleb is, Caleb's black, and then so is Mandel. And I, so I came on stage, and I go, yo, two black comics on stage at the Brady Theater. And everybody, because it's not the Brady Theater, it's the yeah. Tulsa Theater. And everybody went nuts. And That's I was like, awesome. And then I was like, I was at the, I was at the, I was at the golf course. And I was like, I'm at the Tulsa Theater. And the guy's like, it's the Brady Theater. I'm like, all right. You're like, all right. I, I, you're doing, you're like doing the, I, we, we, everything's canceled. All right. Yeah. All right dude. Well, some things maybe might have to go. That's hilarious. It was a great time that we went to uh, Springfield, Missouri, and uh, Wichita, Kansas. Nice. Unbelievable. We went to the zoo. Wichita nice. Zoo. What do they got that's like unique? Nothing. Uh, <laughs> they had, a, they had a, a grizzly bear. Oh, sick. I mean, dude, you never, you forget, you, animals are slept on. Dude. Yes. Big time slept on. Big time. Yeah. You forgot, I was like, that's, that's it. Yeah. That's it. Grizzly's my favorite. I mean, that thing is huge, yeah. dude. That thing is huge. And I always feel like I'm that guy because I've like always because I've been on like a safari for like a, three days. I'm like, all right, well, here's what's going on. Like I was like, all right, dude. yeah. Like I've, when I've been to rehab, I feel like, all right, well, mental health wise, like yeah. I always like uh, you, anybody has any in small inkling of knowledge. Yep. On anything, like, well, in my yeah, yeah. I grew up watching like Nat Geo and Discovery yeah. and all that type yeah. of stuff. I get the same way around yeah. like anything wildlife. I'm like, yeah. well, uh, so yeah, what, yeah, yeah. It's gosh, like, I wonder what the, the best things about that are. The best things about to, to be like, well, actually, like if it, whatever your area of expertise is, that like you you can know read one article. Like That's what? So what funny. could you get in deep on the quickest? Yeah. Well, uh, like why am I in animals? Like, are, right. like yeah, now this uh, Teslas. Well, actually, batteries. Nice. Like you could go easy. Yep. Air travel. Oh well, actually, what are the yeah. worst and actually well, actually to be around? Definitely the the health people. Yeah. Eating anything. The well, actually. Yes. Yeah. What? Yeah. No, this is you could lump in the cold cold plunge crowd into that. Oh, easily. Oh, you go. Yeah. Well, I, I uh, like actually. Um, I love Coke. And the other guy, well, actually, I don't love Coke. I love Diet Coke. Mm. Well, actually, Diet Coke, that guy. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. no, dude. Yeah. yeah. The, the, well, because Diet Coke is worse. Yeah. Or something with the aspartame or whatever it is. I don't know. I'm not well, one of those actually, guys. Yeah. yeah. You're not one of those guys. Dude, I had a, uh, I had a change of heart at the, um, at the Soho house. Oh. Yeah. Breaking news. Okay. I know, dude. There's a guy in the sauna mm -hmm. and he was like, immediately they started going into cold plunges and i go talking about cold plunges i just yeah yeah immediately because you he looked like a guy that would talk about cold plunges got it and then he started talking about cold plunges i might even know who you're talking about yeah, right and now. i was yeah. like dude di and then i just was because you're in there you don't have any headphones or nothing right you're just in there i'm like i'm i'm right here yep and my ears are open you can't close them. Right. They are hearing. What you're, and then he started talking about. Uh, and it's like a 10 by 10 space. Yeah, like it's very tight. Small. You're right on top of each other. And then I was like, oh, here we go with this again. And then he started talking about uh, real estate and like owning real estate. And then I was like, oh, and then about the challenges of like 
owning a small business and mm-hmm. like and I go, oh, and then and then I asked him a question and then we became friends. No way, dude. Yeah, I know. So dude. what you're telling me is you, a full you listened to a guy. I know, I know, I know. You got through the initial judgment and, and then he anything. turned out to be a nice dude. Mm-hmm. Whoa, dude. And he goes, and he goes, and he's like very would be opposite of what I believe or who what I not the kind of guy that would be my first choice for sure looking at him wise. Yep. But then he goes, dude, you know you know who was also like misunderstood a lot and think about this way? Jesus. And I was like, he said that? What? Dude. A what? <laughs> I thought I you were going to say comedians. Yeah, and you're no. going to be like, yeah, I'm dude. Like, dude. <laughs> he goes, dude, people, like, he's like, Jesus was on to something. I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> and then I was like, we, we should, and then we said, I made a joke because we were talking about like how, how all the things that need to be fixed in like society. And I go, dude, we should start a cult. Yeah. And then they were all started laughing. I was like, I'm out. Yeah. It's nice. the best, dude. You shouldn't do that. You shouldn't judge people. That's hilarious, dude. That's Good my message. Like, but I was, the, I was entrenched on my side. Yeah. And then I was listening. Yeah. Listening, man. It does some things. I got to keep that up. It's wild. They got it. Uh, oh, yeah. We, we got in the, uh, the full, the, the weekend was unbelievable. I, got, I think I'm on a new thing. Okay. And the podcast listeners should try it. Okay. You guys should try it too. All right. With like, people ask me to do a lot of stuff all the time. Yeah. All the time. Uh, do you want to play golf? Do you want to meet for lunch? Uh, mm. Do you want to come be on my podcast? Uh, do you want to, and I'm like, um, uh, I'm on this quick, immediate yes or no. Okay. And just instead of like, I'll check on it, or somebody asked me for a, um, do I want to sponsor their golf tournament? Thousand bucks, a hole or something. I was like, can't do it. Nice. Just, and I would appreciate that. Yes. They asked. Everybody does. Hey, do you want to go play golf? Hey, I'm in. Or I'm out. Yep. And if you're maybe, uh, just say you're out. Yep. Because the ongoing of a guy, hey, what are you doing tonight? Where are we going? Yep. Court McCown is a buddy of mine. He's a comic. He, I get like kind of sensitive about things sometimes. It's probably a fair way to say that. I go, dude, you want to go to Jordan Davis tonight? It was down at uh, whatever the amphitheater was yep. downtown. You want? It's a Jordan Davis country artist who I'm a fan of at Ascend. Yep. Lydia was out of town. I go, hey, do you want to go? He goes, uh, what time's it at? I go, that's like your first. Again, that's on Google. Mm-hmm. And also it's a concert probably at. That yeah, would between that, seven and eight. Yeah. And you can get there definitely between seven and eight. And he probably goes on and I mean, mm-hmm. and then he goes, What's the parking like down there? And I go, dude, never mind. Yeah, you don't want to go. <laughs> and I was like being, I was being like a I would have DQ'd him. Yeah, I was being sensitive. He goes, dude, chill. I'm just like, but that's like a that's like a hey, who else is going? Yes. Like, that was the next question coming. Probably. If you didn't put it He a goes, stop What's to it? the parking like? And I'm like, dude. Ubers. I go, I'm park. good. Yeah. And he goes, no, 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 hold on. I want to go. I was just like, I need a second to like, if you say, hey, do you want to do this? Mm-hmm. I need a second to figure out what my night is going to be. Mm-hmm. Five minutes. Mm-hmm. What's the part? It's like a delay. Oh, we're in the conversation. I haven't decided if I want to go yet. I'm looking up information. I'm seeing how much tickets are. I'm doing my own recon on this side. What's parking like? And I go, actually, forget it. Yep. Is that what you actually said? Yeah, I go, dude, don't worry about it. I'm, I'm with that. Good for you. I go, I'll find somebody else. Yeah. And he goes, no, 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 no. That's and then we joked. He jokes. He's like, dude, he's so sensitive. I go, I'm not, this isn't a chair or like, I'm not, I'm good. I don't think you're overly, overly sensitive there. I go, I think I'm that's good. a dude. Do you want to yeah. go or not? Because if dude, you I'm say good. no, yeah. I'm inviting the next person. Yeah. So like, do you want to go? And you can, and you no? can, okay. and yeah. And, and feelings, if somebody goes, if I go, hey, dude, you want to go to Soho House? You go, can't, bro. Done. That's better yep. than like, oh, let me see what Maggie is like. Let me, like, dude. Yeah. Can't. Yep. And then it's like, if I'm on, I'm on like coming in town and somebody asks me that day, like, dude, I see you're in Tulsa. You want to go to lunch? I'm like, dude, can't. Can't. Would you accept this? Can't. Would you accept this? If you were like, hey, Alex, want to meet up at Soho? Yeah. And I said, yes, let me double check on da 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 da. Yeah. And, and I'll get right back. Tell because me, I, I start say, with a yes, me, I would say, tell me a time frame. Cool. Or like, hey, let me. Give me five minutes. I'll give, give me right back five to minutes. You. And I'll see what. My, yeah. Because there's obviously things. I'm with that. Yeah. I like that. I'm just saying yes or no quickly. I like that a lot. You play golf? Can't do it. Has it released or like removed a type of stress from your life? Well, yeah. Well, Nate asked me if I was going to come be on their podcast. And we play golf all the time. Me and Nate. Yeah. Because you play golf. I just. It, it, now I'm working on getting better. I go. I'm in. Nice. But Tuesday, I mean, 12, 12, 15, I'll be there. Mm-hmm. No more. 
And then I feel like you would be asked more. And then you would be you would alleviate your I leave my text on red that I open them and read them. And if I need to respond to it, I put it back on red. On unread. On unread. Sorry. Same. So it's like sitting there and somebody's like, do you, like they asked if I wanted to donate to their golf charity. And I go, what club is it at? It was like a national. I was like, dude, mm -hmm. that why am I asking that? That's asking who else is going. That's what that's that is. asking. It's the same thing. I'm not positive. Yeah. Right. Who else is because who else is going is like, I'm not enough. Yeah, really? That's how I always feel. It's a, yeah. If someone's like, well, who else is going to be there? It's like, okay. I would do the same thing. I'm Never good. mind then. Not you. I'm good. That's who's not who's not yeah. gonna be there. Not you. Now, I, now we've met under like like social pretenses and business pretenses. Mm -hmm. I would probably like to know. Are we just we're just what are we doing? Absolutely. Yeah. What? Because if you go, oh, we're just chilling, and you're like, you wouldn't do this, but like slid a contract over. Like, yeah. oh, <laughs> I thought we were. I thought we were just getting lunch. Or if we were going for business, and you're like, never said anything about. Yes. Yeah, I need to know, but for yeah. sure. Yeah. Yeah, that is important. Hey, we're, hey, this is, I want to go over X, Y, Z. Yeah. Or, hey, you just want to grab a bite? Yeah. Different. But you but you can be, you're, yeah, you're allowed to be, I'm just going to say quick, nah, I'm, yes or no. I love that. I'm going to work on it this week. I think that's good. Yeah. I will too. I'll come in, I'll come back in with my uh, examples. That's nice. Speaking of, mm -hmm. very quick, well, it's not a quick yes or no, but I was, we, I was driving on a uh, uh, two-way, one, one lane this way, one lane that way, like a country, not a country road, but one lane, one lane, right? Mm -hmm. Is that called a two-way? Two lane? I would just call that a road. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's how most roads are. Yep. What do you describe it as? Yeah. yeah. And so there was like, this lady stopped. <laughs> most people don't have roads that have less than that, by the way. So it's, that's just a Two road. lane. Yeah. Yeah. But two lane on each side is a four lane. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So that we're, it was like, it was kind of stop and go because it was a little yeah. bit of traffic. And then the lady stopped in front of me to let people from the side streets go in. Gotcha. And the person was like, they didn't know what to do because they were what do you what why are you stopping and she was like and i was like nah. like okay this is not how the rules work mm -hmm. when you're turning right you don't wait for the light you just go mm -hmm. and i honk and now and lydia gets mad if i honk okay at anyone ever what do you guys do? Do you ever use the horn on your car? I only use the horn if somebody doesn't see me and they're gonna hit me. Yesterday, really? yesterday, I'm driving Mike to the airport, yeah. and a van. Mike, I, I, get an Uber, Mike. I Goodness. switch lane. He had yeah. just driven me to the airport two weeks before. Right, fair. Uh, yeah. I pull over into the lane to my right. He's coming into right. my lane now from the next lane okay. over. Yeah. So he come. He starts to come in. He yeah. does not see me. I hit my horn. He swerves back into his lane and hit. Okay, all good. Oh yeah, that's how I use my horn. You would never, if somebody's doing something wrong. I can't say I would never because I Maybe have I'm emotions the and they get the best of me for sure. But yeah, typically I'm not honking at people. Yeah. Because I don't want to get in a fight. I don't think you're going to get in a fight for something like that. I don't know, man. I'm, so what I'm if, somebody, you would, if somebody doesn't see a light? The quick little like, yeah. meep, I'm right behind you. Yeah, because like, they're texting. Yeah, I'll give you that one. You yep. do. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. I but I'm like, very patient there. Yeah. Well, I feel like I give a pop up. That's like a. Yo, that's not a. Is the two is yeah. a quick two a polite one? Yeah, I think that's what it really comes down to. Is two. like, what Morse code honking are you doing? Yeah, the two. Yeah, you go pop up. That's like a hey, what's up? Yeah, that's like a hi. Cool. Like other people exist. Yeah, yeah. Is your your? Yeah. That's we're fighting. I don't think I've done. I don't think I've ever done that one. I have. <laughs> I definitely have. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but I think people. I like, do that one when someone's gonna hit me. Yeah, it's, it's I lay on it until they see me. You just hold on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I don't think I've ever done. I, like if somebody, I go, but I'm not like the enforcer of the rules, right? But everybody, like, I always like uh, that's like me with uh, trying to fight the guy with the truck, right? I'm like, dude, you're not the enforcer. <laughs> like, what is your road rage reaction? I just get mad with you. Like, dude, this is not how the, this is not this is not how the road works. Uh huh. But I'm not a good driver either. But will you then like, will you lay on the horn? Like, will you, will you gesture at anybody? You know what I mean? Like, do you do anything oh, like no, that? Oh, no, I never flick anybody off. And okay. when people flick me off, I give them a thumbs up. Yes. Yeah. Mine's a, I like this one. Oh, I yeah. I clap. Oh, and then, yeah. Nice. Like, hey, you blew that, oh, dude. Yeah. We all know yeah. it. Uh, yeah, that, you <laughs> nice. messed that up. You know you messed that oh, up. Oh, yeah. Oh, I like the, I like when they, I go, everybody's like, I said in my live show, I like, every, we're all like deep down inside. We're like, kind of like, we're not good people. Yeah. Like inside. I go, when you get cut off, and you speed up 
to get around them. Whatever you're looking in that car hoping to see, that's who you need to pray about. Wow. Because you're hoping it's a man or a woman, right. black, white, old, young, yep. uh, a, whatever you th- are looking to see what that is. And you're like, I knew it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Which yeah, is, yeah. It's, it's it good. could be, by the way, it could be anything except your twin. Right. Like a, a two years younger than me. Ah, it's a kid. A two years older than me. Freaking old people. <laughs> Imagine if it yeah. was though. Yeah. And you're like, I hope it's me two years yeah. ago. It is. Oh, it's not. Bro, dang. what? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No matter what it is, yeah. you go, I knew it. <laughs> it's just crazy that is dude. crazy but that is a good way to check yourself yeah, your hope what what are you hoping is <laughs> is in there to be like i knew it yeah that's crazy dude. yeah oh <laughs> yeah baby we out here you want to get to the uh um we'll get to the oh we'll get to the uh let's get some ads let's hit them that's what i was gonna ask for uh, Cognitive switch, 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 cognitive switch. <laughs> DJ Juve yeah. Labs. Cognitive Juve switch. Labs. What, Juve what, 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 by DJ Juve Labs. Uh, don't you love that feeling when you're in the zone on a roll and going above and beyond everything you wanted to get done in your day? I do be having those days like yeah, that. Man, yeah. That's why I've been loving the new science back product called Cognitive Switch. What, 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 cognitive Switch. That gives me the focus and concentration boost whenever I need it. Uh, and listen, me by the way, I got to be I got to be the most tuned in at eight p.m. Mm. I wake up like I got to be the most like you know everybody gets productive from like ten to like noon, yeah, and then the rest of the day I got to be. That's I usually when I like it. start yawning. Like yeah. eight p.m. is when I'm like, all right, dude, I'm I'm done. I gotta, and, and you got to switch yeah. on. I got and a lot of the guys actually I haven't tried it, but I might because Derek uh, Stroop was out with Bert Kreischer. And they do a pre-show workout. Interesting. Like five. And I don't know. Yeah, maybe that's the, yeah. But I like this. This helps. Cognitive switch, a newly launched ketone. Ketone? Ketone ester. Ketone ester drink developed by scientists at a healthy aging company, Juvenescence. Juvenescence? I think it's Juvenescence, but I like it with a a soft J. Bring me to life. (laughs) (laughs) Nice. Andrew, nothing? Very nice. That's very good. Nothing? Wake me up. Oh, I can't wake Evanescence. up. Evanescence. That's never that. I've heard of that. Oh, gosh. Net positive. We'll see you next week. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, dude, are you serious? Evanescence. I was, I sat on it. When you read it, I go, I got it. Nailed it. Yeah. And nothing from Andrew, dude. Dang. It's a formula that gives your body the building blocks to create your own ketones, which are essentially fuel for your brain to give you the boost in focus, concentration, and even sustained energy without the crash. I love cognitive switch because it helps me get into the zone and feel my best that I can get power throughout the afternoon. That's when I need it all while supporting my brain health. Cognitive switch comes in two forms, a drink that tastes like delicious tropical yogurt. Let's go. And an unflavored powder that gives you the mix into any drink you like, such as your morning coffee as a creamer substitute. Cognitive switch just launched for a limited time. Our listeners can enjoy this special offer. Visit Juve Labs, J U V L A B S dot com slash net positive. That's Juve Labs dot com slash net positive. Hit the link in the episode description below. Get 20% off your order. Don't miss out on the opportunity to start your journey toward enhanced mental performance. Unlock your brain's potential and experience the power of the cognitive switch. Hey, you see somebody on the internet? You need and you need to enhance your mental performance, bro. Mm. That's like a roast. That yeah, that's like, a slam. see a therapist. Yeah. Like seek help. Yeah. Yeah. Like, hey, enhance your mental, dude. Yeah, exactly. What are you yeah. doing? Yo. What are you doing for your mental, bro? You just roast somebody, you just send them some uh, cognitive <laughs> switch. Like, dang, dude. Swipe up. Got him. Um, Gosh. Speaking of, dude, one in five Americans. Oh, this is a uh, podcast also brought to you by Babel. One in five Americans. What do you call a person who speaks three languages? Trilingual. <sighs> Let me see. What do you call someone that's one and a quarter? I'm not bilingual, so I speak a little bit of Spanish. One and a quarter? Yeah. I think if you continue the copy, actually, they might have you here. Oh, oh, dang. All right, someone who speaks two, bilingual. Someone who speaks one, American. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Babel, I got, I'm, the, I got, I'm the comic, dude. Why well, I didn't deserve that. Gotcha, Only 22. Dude. I didn't even read that. Slam, bro. That's hilarious. Babel from the top rope. All right. First of all, people from other countries don't speak every language. No, but they definitely speak more than us. They think so? For sure, yeah. dude. Everybody in Albania? They speak like five. It's nuts. Really? Yeah. Dang. Which made me feel dumb because yeah. I'd be like, no, no, Albanian. And they'd be like, German? 
No. Yeah. And you French? Go, <laughs> no. Italian? No. And they would just be like, all right. They're like, I guess you're not you're, worth speaking to, yeah. I guess. <laughs> no dinner. Yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. I guess, yeah, when I go to like any Latin American country, we were in Honduras, I've been in Mexico, even if you go to on the border, anything like that, the restaurant, not the, not actually on the border, but you, <laughs> you can, you can make your way around. Yeah. I, I know enough words that they can kind of, pe- I mean, it's tough, yep. but you go, all right, uh, donde y, uh, yeah. esta in the, uh, 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 you can figure it out and you kind of know the accent that you can kind of, Germany, not one. Out. Uh, not a, a, a word. No. Not one. Mm-mm. French, none. No. What's they speak in China? Mandarin. Yep. Not one. Until not now. One until now, baby. <laughs> You can understand sounds no matter what language you speak or are learning. Start learning a new language this fall and be the exception, not the rule, baby, because with Babbel, you start speaking a new language in just three weeks. That's crazy fast. You can understand no matter what language you speak or are learning. Boom, like that. We got sound effects. In this Whoa, now, dude. dude. Next level. If you skip in the ads, you skip in a uh, true entertainment. Mm-hmm. Like that, the sound of the right answer in Babel. Start speaking a new language in just three weeks, baby. Let's go. If you're taking a look at search trends, interested or looking at a new language, only increasing over time. Hmm. And that's why Americans are slow at it, apparently. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there tends to be a bit of a spike in the fall because it's the perfect time to pick up a new hobby like learning language. Uh, with Babel, you start speaking a new language in just three weeks. Just in time for show off for just in time to show off for the holidays. These people are funny. They are funny. They got a good sense of humor. Yeah, they do a good job here. Here's the special, baby. Limited time deal for our listeners to get to start right now. Get 55%. 55% off. That's unbelievable. Your Babel subscription, but only for our listeners at Babel.com. dot com slash net. Not net positive slash net just net or at the link in the episode description below rules and restrictions may apply they may they could apply dang it dude i'm gonna use can we use that at winter not in the ad rate? that's the sound that you hear when you get one right on in babel that's what it is but i I think we could use it as a sound just just for like when like we say anything when i honk the horn correctly yeah 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 (laughs) (laughs) let's get to the news baby you want to let's go let's get into it where do you want to go here september the 20th september 20th you want to go to uh let's go to uh extreme baptism okay deal and the internet is just man just a gift that keeps on giving truly the gift that keeps on giving the internet it's such a all right, here we go. This is uh, baptism. <laughs> Dude, I'm so excited because I saw this like a week ago and was going to bring it in. And I'm pumped that you uh, you have it. This I mean, this explore. guy just absolutely DDTs the man. <laughs> <laughs> it's extremely vicious. Whoa! Oh, that's a, oh my! Is that true? This is real. Oh yes! Let's go. <laughs> go if you're Ooh. a listener. Go watch the YouTube episode Ooh. for this because. <laughs> all right, goodness. this guy is baptized. So the, it's like in a horse trough or whatever you call it, and this guy's absolutely extreme baptizing people. He's picking them up <laughs> out of the water and body slamming them. <laughs> Like, I didn't know I was getting baptized by Goldberg. <laughs> WW evangelism. Let's go. And then it's some dude. Somebody, and then he jumps in it with him. WW Emmanuel. It, nice, dude. He tackles him into the, into it. That's crazy. I mean, the, <laughs> the lift up on this one. He's like, in the name of the father, son, and your future chiropractor. <laughs> I mean, his neck is disconnected, dude. They're his all getting up looking happy, though. And look at this. This one right here, that's a <sighs> that's a 15-yard penalty. For sure. That's a 15-yard. That's a personal foul. Unnecessary that's roughness. A definitely, <laughs> roughness. That's a personal. I don't know what the personal foul is. It's not this. It's I think it's holding. that one. Yeah. That's a personal. <laughs> and he's like, and he dunks the guy twice. The double is crazy. I like how he kind of like pimps it. Like he like walks it off. Like, yeah, that's what's oh, up. Yeah, I just yeah. did that. <laughs> he's, he's not in. Blessings be upon you. He's not in the thing. No, but the, he's soaking wet. <laughs> Dude, how are you wet? <laughs> he's in it on that Bro, one. How, yo, he's in it on that one. All right, I know. I know exactly how this starts. Yeah. Okay. I know exactly how this starts. The guy. <laughs> it's like any preacher or any really anybody on TV. It starts out and he says something that's a little bit 
Shannon Sharp or Skip Bayless or whatever, they say go on a or Stephen A. Smith, and yep. everybody goes, and that's the thing that shows up on the internet yes. the next day. Yes. They go, oh, so this guy did this once to. I'm guessing. Here's how it starts. He goes and uh, uh, Jason here, who is uh, giving his life to the Lord, uh, he played college football, mm. and uh, he was in in college. He was searching. Mm -hmm. He's making a lot of poor choices. You know, he started drinking, getting into drugs, running around with women. And college football was his vehicle to make all that happen. Mm -hmm. And now he's given his life to the Lord. And that college, those college football days that identified you as a person are now over. Mm -hmm. And then he did that. <laughs> and he dunked the guy. And everybody went nuts. Yeah, and then dude. everybody... Everybody in the church, I don't know, every, it was probably a youth camp or something less. And he's like, here's how we do it at the youth group. <laughs> and then, I mean, if the poor pastor can't follow this. Right. The pastor is not, he's like, what am I? Yeah. He comes out and he goes, he comes out in a sport coat. He's like, turn your Bibles to Acts 4. Yeah. This it's has, like, dude. This has to be done like the, after service. Yeah, we just saw the Royal Rumble. <laughs> <laughs> like next week, he's going to be like, dude. We're going to do it off of a cage. I'm like, dude, <laughs> you're in a cage now? He brings out a ladder. Ladder match, yeah. <laughs> He's like, he's tagging other, <laughs> other associate pastors in. <laughs> ah, yeah. Dude, the jumping in is crazy. Yeah. Yeah. The, uh, if you get. Got in the ladder, it's hilarious. I went deep into the comments yeah. here and somebody, somebody claims that this is at their church and they're saying like the backstory is he asks people yeah. how aggressive he can get with it on a scale of one to 10. <laughs> and these are clips of people who said 11 or 12. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, also, if I'm getting baptized, I want to be on the real. Yeah. Two yeah, or 10. Dude. This is sick. I mean, dude, jumping on top of a guy. And also, what's what's uh, this is one of the most humble men I know. I believe that I do too. I believe that. Yeah, it says yesterday 163 people from our church got baptized. That's oh, yo, so many yo, body slams. That's, <laughs> he's got to be so sore. That's the whole service. Yeah, dude. dude that's a dude, he's going like, praise God. 163, dude. In one game, that's he's just pro ball number. Run it, dude. It's a pro ball. Run him up. This is Hall of Fame stuff. Yo, he's a, dude. He's closing in on John. Yeah, dude. He's, he's closing getting, in on dude, John's he's closing numbers. In on John the Baptist. Yeah. He's getting a call. He's getting a call from like uh, Nick Saban. He goes, dude, I've seen this. I've seen your baptism. Just the form. The form is just crazy. It's fantastic yeah. technique. Because he supports him with the neck. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. John John the Baptist is like Kareem. Yeah. And like this guy's LeBron. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's like, I'm that. coming for that. He's like, dude, who's comparing? <laughs> yeah. <It's> a, <laughs> what is John the Baptist? ESPN graphic. <laughs> <laughs> dude, the, I like that the, the guy goes, 100, 100 and, 63 baptisms is I love the one uh they go hey um I've heard these sermons I've been coming to this church for a month I really I really like um I think I want to give my life I just last last week I gave my life to the Lord and I want to get baptized and they go um Jason's on vacation you want the J <laughs> you don't want you want the Jason baptism you want the he's not he's he's kind of gone for the summer but he'll be back in the fall can you wait yeah you don't want any Baptist, you want the, you want that one. He'll be back for a fall run. <laughs> yeah, if yeah. you want to get on the list, no, there. this is not. Well, my, this sometimes we have uh, baptisms at my church that we're like we're going, Sunday night is baptism, right? So yeah. like, you can come. Not back. uncommon. Yeah, like I went to a uh, I went to a um, <laughs> a football game, a middle school football game. Corey Asbury, son, uh, was playing at CPA or something. I don't know where he's playing, uh, but I Franklin Road, and I live like right there. Yep. And he's like, his son's a baller, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. So I went to the game, and I go, oh, I think only people here have are involved here. Like, if you are in these stands, you have someone you know, someone you brought someone that's playing. Yeah. That's the Bible. St that's the baptism service. Yeah. You don't just go to baptism service. Right. You invite your squad. And the whole sanctuary is your people. Right. You're not just out there. I'm going to baptism service. No, it's, no. A, home, it's a home game. Yeah. You got to be invited. Because I was sitting out there. I was like, no. I'm Were you with Corey? Yeah, I found him immediately. Because yeah. I was like, I can't be just be out here. <laughs> yeah, for yeah. sure. Yeah. Someone's going to be like, which one is yours? And yeah. you're going to be like, oh. No, uh, no, I just love football. <laughs> yeah. like, ah, bye. Hey, hello? Yeah, we got somebody out here. Yeah. yeah immediately. <laughs> who, who writes that list? We got yeah. someone we have to put on it. I got I to gotta, I gotta find Corey immediately. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This, this comment says, welcome yeah. to the Church of MMA, brother. <laughs> yeah, dude. This guy. Yeah, we love this guy, by the way. Fantastic, dude. Shout out. Well done. <laughs> 
speaking of the internet, you want to go to, uh, uh, let's go to, uh, is that her name, Georgia? Georgia. We love her. I do, very much. You mentioned her first, and but she's been on my feed. Yeah, she's all over my For You page. It's just so, it, yeah, yeah. So she is a, what is she, an influencer? Yeah, I don't influencer know what she is. turned, uh, she owns a bikini company, I believe. Yeah. Georgia, forgive me if I'm getting this wrong. It's called, yeah. I think, Strawberry Milk Mob. And she okay. also makes all of these videos of her just talking to her phone. That are hilarious. I think she's so funny. Let me put a caveat on this. Go I've never it. seen any of the bikini videos. Oh, they're not? No, these aren't bikini videos. No, I know these. Oh. Like, I didn't know she did that. Oh, yeah. She sells bikinis. I thought she, she's not a comedian. No, but also she's- That's what makes it even better, by the way. Yes. But also she's not what you're alluding to. That like She's okay, not she's a thirst not. trap girl. Okay. I was like, well, I don't know no. about this. Uh -uh. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That's not what it is. All right. So she makes that- Because I've seen them on my For You page. It's like why she loves men. Yes. And that is so funny. And all the things that she says are hilarious and true. Yes. Yeah. Really she good. does all, all like, yeah, it's that's a whole her. series. That's her. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah here's yeah. one. Reason number 32 why I love men is because they love blue jobs. I always talk about blue jobs, pink jobs, and men just love blue jobs. They eat them up. It's like, babe, can you please open up this peanut butter? Yep, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> Screeks it open, no problem. Any can, any jar, pickles, they're opening it. And they love it. They love when you ask. The other day I'm driving down the road. I'm like, Brad, I think my wheel's flat or something. He's like, pulls over to the side, does a full 360 check of every single one of my wheels. Loved every second of it. He loved every second of it. I don't like doing blue jobs. They honestly, they secretly like pumping gas too. They literally love it. Anything blue, they love it. They'll do it, and that's why I love men because I don't want to do those jobs. <laughs> that is the most accurate thing I've ever heard. Love it, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me where she missed. Yeah, yeah. I got it. Yeah. Crush I don't it. even do, and I don't. I'll I'll be the first guy to admit I don't know anything about any of that stuff. Right. But we were at Andrew East's house. He's like. You want to go out to the grill? I was like, yeah, let's get out there. Mm -hmm. Like, well, I don't know anything about what, I don't know anything about this. Let's get out there. He's like, let's go to the grill. I was like, all right, yeah. No idea. But it feels good to be able to fill that need. Dude, If you know what? My dad is the king of this. Mm -hmm. Like when he goes to visit, like if you say, hey, you want to come, all my siblings would probably say the same thing. You want to come like up for the weekend to like go to coffee and get dinner he's like no oh. he's like dude my uh i need the um uh crown molding redone he's like i'm there yeah and he put load up the truck with all the tools he's going quick yes on that oh uh, quick yes yeah. dude he's like hey the crown molding is coming apart i think i got this i got this link that i would like my he's like i'm there yep <laughs> all the tools all the hammer nails saws in the back of the volvo yep he's there drop the pin i'm coming yeah and if you're sitting at the if you're sitting at uh christmas for like three days and there's a bunch of dudes somebody will be like you want to go to home depot mm -hmm. to build a oh yeah and i don't even know how to do most of those things blue jobs no but they yeah yeah opening <laughs> up a can jobs. is like blue is like yeah. hilarious they're like oh, i got it here's another yeah. one. reason number three why i love men is because they always know how they like their steak cooked you know you ask a woman how do you want your steak cooked she'll look she'll be like mm, medium rare i think you know you ask a woman, what do you want to drink? She'll be like, can I see the menu? Like, I kind of want a fun cocktail. You know, you ask a man, I'll go to lager. <laughs> you know, I'll go to whiskey on the rocks. Medium rare. More rare. You know, they know exactly how they like their food and their drinks. And I love men for that because I don't know what the hell I want. So I'm, I'm hoping I can just piggyback off of your decisions. <laughs> Again, I, I see no, I see, wh where is the myth? She nails it. Where, where is the error? Yep. I know exactly. I go, I want a Coke. I don't even look at the menu. Yeah. Actually, they made fun of me the other day because we went to like, we were in uh, Wichita and they were good, this local like breakfast spot. And we all sat down and we were chatting and looking around and the, she goes, what do you have? I go, I, number one, whatever the number one is. Yeah. You know what? At breakfast, let me get the breakfast. Yeah. The, it's the variety type platter. You yeah. get a little bit of everything. It's There's the perfect two amount eggs. of food. Yep. There's some, you could choose sausage or bacon yep. and then there's either hash browns, grits, or and then there's toast and then you're like, give me the, what does everybody come here and get? Yeah. Give me the number one. And then they'll ask you what kind of eggs, what kind of meat, what yep. kind of bread, what kind, do you want jelly on the side? Do you want fruit cup? Just, I go, yeah, I get it. I, I yeah. can look, I got to look at a menu for, unless we go to some place that's like, ah, here we go at this place again. <laughs> but we don't ever go into a place like that because everybody knows that I don't, I got it. What is all this? Yeah. I know exactly. I was like, let me get a Coke, steak, medium. Yep. No question. Done. Yeah. I don't need to hear. I got it. Yeah. I don't need to hear Don't come anything. check in on us yeah. either. Chicken nuggets. We're good. I'm good. Yeah. What's <laughs> what? You want to watch one more? Sure. All Which right. one do you want to do out of these last three? It doesn't three? matter to me. All right. Uh, I'll just do the next one. All right. 
Reason number 17 why I love men <laughs> is because the way into their heart is to pretend you don't know something, so they have to explain it to you. Sometimes stop. Hold on. Stop. Just... <laughs> Dang it. I do be doing this all the time. Dude. Wait, what'd she say? I'm gonna, I'll, I'll play it again. It? I'll oh, play it again. Oh, She's yeah. saying the way into their heart is by letting them explain something to you. This is embarrassing, dude. Reason number 17 why I love men is because the way to their heart is to pretend you don't know something, so they have to explain it to you. Oh, Sometimes gosh. Sometimes I'm literally just asking Brad random stuff. Like, how did you, how do you get that golf swing and let him ramble for half an hour? You know, I'm not listening to that. He feels good about himself. Brad, am I supposed to change the oil in my car? Like, how do I know? Let me explain that to you, Georgia. I'd be happy to. It makes him feel helpful. Dang it, dude. That's- that's a fact. She's got some healthy accountability for Dang, men going on right, here too. Dude, where she's it's right like, on yeah, all this. yeah, we do that. But she says it in a funny, it's like uplifting. Yeah, it's it's with love. It's a, yeah, it's, I feel like it's it. It's with love. Yeah. I feel like we're all Gosh. on the same team. Yeah, that's so true. With she's her. like, like this, yeah. is re- this is why you guys are great. Yeah. Everyone has a different number too. I love it. She just throws out random. The reason number 17. Oh, they're not in order? No, she just throws out numbers. Oh, that's even There's funnier. infinite oh, ones there of these if yeah. you want to go to her page and check them out. It's incredible. <laughs> Let me think why I like explaining stuff. It makes you feel smart. And Lydia doesn't even ask. I just, I just start in. <laughs> or she does, and she yeah. knows she's like she's doing what George is doing. Where it's like, how I wonder do you, if she does. How do you do that? Once she's tricking me, John, tell me she about this. this. Yeah, she's like, yeah. She just pushes her mic away. She's like, sure, yeah. And yeah I, John, tell us about uh, how did you figure out that bit? It does feel good. Yeah. <laughs> so, what was your thought process behind opening with that joke? I'm. <laughs> Bro, I'm gone. <laughs> I'm in the clouds. Yeah. What she's not even in the room anymore. No, she's You're just gone. going off. Wow. Yeah, yeah, You're yeah. seeing numbers and code in front of your eyes. <laughs> just going like off. a beautiful mind of yeah. Russell Crowe, dude. Like, yeah, yeah. Well, listen, comedy work. Yeah, okay, yeah. <laughs> Golf is a funny one, but it's always like it's always like guy stuff. Yeah. Yeah, why did you? Yeah. Just feels good explaining. What's your favorite thing to get asked about? That you like? I mean, it would have to be. It would have to be because I, I, my default is getting like, like, annoyed at stuff. No, why that? No, I've been into like, because like, we voted for like a uh, mayor and city council, and we're like deep into like what, what, like, we talked about like the stadium, like all right, Titans in the stadium, or like or like Broadway. I've been like very in defense of Broadway a, yeah. a ton recently because I go listen. If you live here, everyone's coming to the city for that square mile, not even a square mile, square four blocks. Yeah, it's a hundred yards. Let them have it. Mm-hmm. Let if you don't want to go down there, don't go down there. Mm-hmm. Don't. It's let them have all the trucks. I, I go when you go down there, people come in from all over the world to come here, mm-hmm. and they want to see the honky tonks. Put music at everyone. Just make it clean and make it safe down there. Yeah. Just make it clean and make it safe and make it accessible so people come. And if you live in Franklin, you're like, we need to get rid of the party buses. No, don't go down there. Yeah, not even here. And if you want to go to a, a Titans game, park on the other side. How good did this just feel to explain that just now? Didn't that feel great? There it is. Nice. I just did it. There it is. Wait, that's yeah. this whole podcast. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> we solved it. You tricked me into that, dude. Like, what's the thing? I went into something. I've been working with Georgia. Yeah. yeah. Dang, dude. She's right on that. Yeah, dude, dude. That is hilarious. I've been in there, baby. Speaking of what I can explain to you, mm. magnesium breakthrough. Yes. I lie awake at night for hours, physically exhausted, trying to fall asleep. I'm jacked up after my shows. Yeah. That's why I can't fall asleep. Yep. But it couldn't be because my mind was so wired, I would wake up exhausted and my productivity for the day would be ruined. I know everybody's listening to this and nodding along. Mm -hmm. The longer it would take me to fall asleep at night, the more stressed I would be getting about my energy levels the next day. That's a vicious cycle. However, since I started adding magnesium breakthrough to my nightly routine, the only lie about that is that I don't have a nightly routine. But Mm -hmm. yeah, I've I've been able to quiet my mind to get the best sleep ever. Plus with Miracle Made Sheets. Mm. That's a double advertisement, mm. but it's not about them. Once I started taking Magnesium Breakthrough, my sleep completely changed. Now I have no problem falling asleep and wake up. For me personally, Magnesium Breakthrough has helped solve my sleep problems from winding down at the end of a stressful day to tossing and turning and waking up groggy. Magnesium Breakthrough, baby! It's been a game changer. Unlike other magnesium supplements that might be giving you one to two forms of magnesium, Magnesium Breakthrough contains all seven forms of magnesium. Like, dude, I thought there was only one from the periodic table. Same. When I was in chemistry class. Mm -hmm. AP chemistry, by the way. I'm Mm going to brag. Flex. I let people know. Over 75% of the population is magnesium 
deficient. Most magnesium supplements are proven to be ineffective because they only contain one to two forms of magnesium. Now, Magnesium Breakthrough, baby, contains all seven. Don't miss out on the most relaxing sleep ever with Magnesium Breakthrough. Go to magbreakthrough.com slash netpositive and use the promo code netpositive10 during checkout to save 10% or hit the link in the episode description. Do you remember when you used to, I used to drink a lot? Yeah. I thought I was getting the best sleep. Mm-hmm. But then somebody's like, no, you're not. Mm-mm. You're getting the worst sleep ever. You're just not. Yeah, literally. The worst. It's terrible for but you. But you would sleep. You wouldn't wake up. Right. And you would wake up. You wouldn't even know where you were. Right. And you're like, man, I slept 10 hours. Mm-hmm. And I was like, I'm getting the best sleep ever. But I was like, why do I feel horrific? Yeah, no recovery <laughs> whatsoever. No. Hor- no no uh, rejuvenation is happening right. during that sleep. It's right. just like we're trying to keep this guy alive. Yeah, it's trash. Yeah. But I, th- I felt like you slept for so long, you were getting good sleep. Mm-hmm. No. None. This gets yourself some good sleep, baby. You want to wrap it up with some news? Let's hit it. We had a couple. Let's get to uh, let's get to the um, uh, Halle Berry, dude. Okay. <laughs> so the backstory here is Drake dropped a new single. Okay. The new single is called Slime You Out. Slime You Out. What does that mean? Um, it's up for it's like, interpretation. Uh, okay. We can leave it there. I thought it would be like ghosting someone. Sure. But yeah. All right. Yeah. My bad, dude. Okay. So this is... Uh, <laughs> people can do their Googles. Yeah. And uh, that said, he, you out. he went and posted okay. uh, as an announcement of like, hey, the song is out, everybody, yeah. on his Instagram. Okay. And the photo that he used is, is a photo of Halle Berry covered in like Nickelodeon slime. Classic. Halle Berry, dude. Halle Berry hasn't made an appearance in, oh, in a while. I would agree. Good for Halle Berry. Yeah. So here she is. And yeah. so... That was all good and fun. I think everybody yep. thought it's a great little little collab. Slime, yeah, get launch. it, slime, slime. Sure, right, you cool. could have used. Uh, yeah, all right, got it. What's tough though is that Hallie was not happy about. Come it. on, Hallie, and she came out and posted this. Uh oh. The next morning. Sometimes you have to be the bigger guy, even if you're a woman. And so she didn't approve of it. TMZ reached out to her. They mm-hmm. got comment. She basically said Drake reached out and asked if he could use the photo as the cover art. Yeah. She said no. Yeah. And then he went and posted it anyways. So he didn't he use does, it as the cover art for the song. Yeah. He just posted it He's on his Instagram, yeah. which I think anybody can post that photo on Instagram right now Drake. if they want to. His name's Drake. But also yeah. he's Drake, so he's that's Drake. fine. And so, yeah, she's upset about it. No. Oh, okay. She's mad. All right. Listen, I like, I like always when... Um, People don't when people uh, forget how the internet works. Mm-hmm. That's always my favorite. Yes, I go like when I go on a um, like I, when I've been on hundreds of podcasts, other people's podcasts, and one time, only one time, Ryan Long, one of my good buddies, I asked him to take down a clip mm-hmm. one time because I was like, all right, it was a little out of context, and I was like, dude, if you listen to the whole podcast, but just just that. That, but you got you like hey, this is how podcasting works. Yeah, if you go on a podcast, they're gonna, they might not. It's gonna be clipped to say that's how the internet works, right? And you'd be like, yeah, uh, all right, go listen to the whole episode if you want the context on that. Sure. I don't. Yeah, it's how the internet works. We all dis- we all signed up for this game. Yeah, not signed up for it, but if you're a, a public figure, you signed up to play it. Yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, th- there is a. a, a Danica Patrick, you know who that is? Yes. She's a uh, driver, NASCAR, ex NASCAR driver. There was a, I don't have to get into the whole thing, but there was a, a death in the NASCAR community and somebody posted their condolences and she just like, just crushed the person for being insincere about it. I go, and then, and then she got just, whoa, wiped out. Yeah. Well, I'm not giving you the full context sure. of it, but it's like awesome when you're like, I'm coming this way and everybody goes, Screw. nope. Yep. That's how it works. Yeah. That's how the game works. Well, and Hallie doesn't even own this photo. Anyways. Yes. Like, no, whoever dude, took yeah. it. I'm sure it's Getty yeah. Images or something. Like, yeah. I'm sure Drake bought the rights and also, to it. Also, I'm just thinking uh, the Sultan of Saudi Arabia, mm-hmm. Donald Trump, and the person with the third most legal representation in America is Drake. Sure. <laughs> it is. It's, I mean, this guy... He's been in so much legally. Yeah. He's the guy that, like, if you go on his tour bus, go to his house, all phones. Yep. I know that. All phones, sign the NDA. Yep. You can't even, and they had the thing with the uh, the hot sauce. Yep. Like, uh, and then, like, the thing with Bobby Altoff. Yep. It's like, dude, Drake, 
is it's smarter. Yeah. And you're going to lose to Drake. Yeah. You're I'm sure this went through legal before. Yes, he dude. It, yes. Or sure. if he did, he's he, like Drake. Respect to the man who is always feels like he's a step or two ahead. Mm -hmm. Doesn't it feel like that? Yeah. I've always thought that way about Drake. Yeah. Great music, but then he put out that like EDM album. Mm -hmm. He's always with that the Bobby Alto podcast and then it got taken down. Yep. It was like, oh, you got Drake. Yeah. Drake's smarter than you. He's a chess wizard. That's a good way to put it. He's We're a playing checkers. Master. He's playing chess. Yeah. Drake? Yeah. Playing chess. Yeah. yeah. Also, I, Halle Berry, sit down. Yeah. Also, or, 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 you can stand up and be happy to be sure. here. Yeah, yeah, can. yeah. This yeah. is fun. Yeah, good. This could yeah. have been really or fun. Or you can be like, "Yo, shout out." Yeah, yeah. Thanks to the new followers, Drake. Yeah, <sighs> Halle Berry. Or Drake. Yeah, I'll hop on that. Sometimes you have to be the bigger guy, even if you're I mean, a woman. Okay, and that's a tough font, also. It is a tough. That's font. a tough font. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, hold, on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Go back. Sure. How many likes does Drake post have? That's a great question, John. I don't the Halle do Berry post has fifty-two thousand and one likes. Okay. All right. And the Drake post. post has 2.2 2 million. <laughs> okay. Hey, Hallie, you win. You win in this situation. Just be like, ah, dude. Yeah, you're like, uh, uh, you'll hit me for that feature. Or, I mean, I could think of a thousand comments to put number one. Yeah. And then you're getting all, I mean. Yeah. That's how the internet works. Yeah, this is a miss. Fire yeah. your PR team. That's a miss. They, oh, yeah. they picked the wrong battle. Let's get to speaking of uh, PR that we need to address. Sure. Uh, uh, go to the uh, <laughs> go to the Mr. And Mrs. Smith. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ladies. All right. So the, the the writers and actors strike has been going on for some time now. For sure, I've and, heard about it. And yeah, and we're we're I'm pressed. Mm -hmm. I'm very. I can I mean, I'm I'm struggling to know. They had a, a Tonight Show episode from Christmas on, and I go, all right. They're just re-airing. Yeah, and I go, yeah. so, so they were like, uh, like, they were like, dude, today in the news, uh, Joe Biden fell on a bicycle. I go, what? But I go, okay. Yep. I guess, oh, is this old? Yeah. I guess this is old. Outside of the monologue, you wouldn't know. Yeah. I guess. Um, sad day, everybody. I know you guys said people are going to have a hard time with this. <laughs> Donald Glover's Mr. and Mrs. Smith remake delayed till 2024. No. I know, dude, because the writer's strike. Oh. I know. I didn't want to put that up early because everybody's going to be so bummed out about it. The series starring Donald Glover and whoever that is, Maya Erskine, reimagines the 2005 Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie film, which is a reimagining of the original Mrs. Mr. and Mrs. Smith, who nobody cared about the first time. Or the second time, and definitely not the third. And that first one came out in 1941. Yeah. Hey, and the writers are like, that's the, the, the ignorance of the writers to be like, like, because give us more money because we're going to give you Mr. and Mrs. Smith 3. <laughs> what human walking around Earth? That's my whole thing with the, the writer strike. It's like, dude, we need... More money because we're gonna deliver to you G Lee three. I go, it's a bad. It's bad. <laughs> Not one person. Like I'm trying to think, what would somebody like want? Like a like a new Garth Brooks album. People were like, yeah, we want it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we would like that. A new Morgan Wallen album. Yeah, yeah, we would want it. Mm -hmm. A new uh, the when the football when the football is when they're not playing during the season, like, well, yeah, we can't, we, we want to go. Mm -hmm. When's the new Titan season? We want to go. Yeah. Who on this earth I say, dude, you know what I would really like to see? <laughs> A Mr. And Mrs. Smith remake of the remake. <laughs> I mean, dude, that's like working at the drive through and never getting anyone's order. Right. And then to be like, dude, why am I not getting a raise? <laughs> That's crazy. You're yeah. out on the picket lines with the thing up that was like, give us more representation for Mr. and Mrs. Smith 3. And you put this out like everybody's going to be. Nobody cares. Has there ever been a third remake? I mean, see, there's been a trend of a oh, lot of remakes a, recently. And one, twos and threes. Has there, like, well, no, those are sequels. Oh, yeah. Has there ever, this is the same movie three times. 
Yeah. Has there ever been a third what? remake yeah. where it's like, hey, yeah, we took it from 41 and then we did it in 2005 and then and we're doing we it again. are doing it again yeah. in 2023. Yeah. If you have like the like uh, Ghostbusters, the Ghostbusters remake, it's like a different different plot. Yeah, I, I think. I think so, yeah, too. Yeah, all the, all the uh, what's that one where uh, Tom Cruise is in the um, airplane? Mission Impossible? No. Really? He literally hung out of an airplane. Tom in Cruise movie. in it's the like airplane. One of the most famous stunts of all time. I was going to say Mission Impossible. No, he goes, he goes to fight school. Oh, Top Gun? Top Gun, dude. dude. Wow, wow, dude. <laughs> wow. I do feel dumb now. Yeah. <laughs> Top Gun. Yeah. 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 Same what? plot yeah. or no? Didn't see it. I don't know. I think it's new. Top Gun Two, okay, is new. Okay, they go back, or I, I don't know. Right, it has to be. I'm cu- yeah, I'm curious. What here we go? Twenty of the most remade movies of all time. Oh, they've remade multiple times. It's from uh, Insider, so who knows how reputable? Oh, it Huck- is. oh okay, Huckleberry. Oh yeah, nice, dude. Just saying. Yeah, we stand with Barstool. Just saying. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, A Star Is Born was canceled. released four times. No, thirty-seven, fifty-four, nineteen seventy-six, and two thousand eighteen. Really? That's dumb. Did you watch the one? Do you know what's even dumber is that it won everything when it, it came won everything out, and yeah. probably every time. And I didn't. I thought it was a new movie. I didn't know that. I hate that. Dude. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. A Star Is Born was released four times mm-hmm. in 1937. So, th- so 1937. All right, keep going. And then it sa- it even says the basic plot of A Star Is Born has remained, remained the same. The same. Each remake has put a slightly different spin on the story. But yeah, yeah, but no. Phantom of the Opera. I made a bunch of times. Oliver Twist. All right, made a bunch of times. Great Gatsby has been re- remade four times. Wow. Dude, this is blowing my mind. <sighs> Nothing's original, man. All right, so we're going like, hey, stop with these remakes. They've been doing that. Yeah, we, yeah we're late to the party. Oh. Jungle Book. Wow, dude. Really? Great Expectations, yeah. Robin Hood. Those are like classic like tales. Five though. remakes. I'll give you yeah. those because they're like, those are like nursery rhymes kind of. Yeah. Robin Hood and stuff. Like those you can, I'm, yeah, with, like I'm okay yeah, with yeah, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Treasure Island. These are Three all Musketeers. classics. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, dude. But I went to, I went to the, um, I went to, when I was at the, um, what's it called? The, uh, uh middle school football game mm-hmm. the cheerleaders were doing like a i go we did this one yeah like that's the same one yeah we they still doing that yeah it the just, only thing i would say about this mr and mrs going. smith thing is i yeah. do like donald glover a I lot do. and i, I do like too. i do think he's an incredible creative mind hold on let's pause do we have to hear what, what drew barrymore has to say <laughs> dude you know it's you know what's a favorite about that what i don't care about that at all yeah but like when, when like, and uh, what's Ashton Kutcher's wife's name? Mila. When they want to be like relatable, they don't wear makeup. Yes. Have you seen that? Yes. That's like the thing. Her specifically. She's been doing that a while. She has? No, Mila Kunis has. Oh, yeah. Because like when, when he's like, hey, guys, I'm just like you. Yeah. Like all the, all the glam and the hair and for all the red carpets, mm-hmm. when they want to tell, when they want to. They want your sympathy, right, or your forgiveness, or to let them back in, right. No makeup, right. Wow, yeah, dude, pretty transparent. Hey, you know what? That we've the men have been exposed by Strawberry Milk Girl. Yeah, women are being exposed here. Mm. Whenever they would come with no makeup. All right, but we got to do it with love, though, the same way Georgia did. You know what I love about women? What? <laughs> <laughs> I can't do it. Right. I no. can't do it. No, no dude. Because you don't mean it. No, no. <laughs> She's genuine and we're yeah. just like, mm. you're like, no, you're lying. Yeah. <laughs> Drew Barrymore had to apologize for something this week. Who knows? Or cares. Yeah. And right. uh yeah. <laughs> she's like in her it, yeah, she's in her kitchen. Yeah, dude. But, but, uh, although, although to be fair, uh-huh. I've made an apology video for my kitchen. <laughs> Hey, pot, meat kettle. This is tough for me, dude. <laughs> I can't believe you just walked yourself in. I walked that. right. I made an apology video from my kitchen. Were you wearing makeup? I was not. Well, was not. Well, 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 well. Look who wants I sympathy. wasn't wearing makeup, and I, but I was. I do remember going like, all right, we can't be like, and I did it off my cell phone. Because mm-hmm. I go, we can't be like produced. 
It can't be produced. I go, this can't be produced. And I have to say it from the heart. Yeah. And I can't read it also. Uh-huh. Now, we like probably did it a couple times. Sure. But we didn't. We I go, <laughs> I make videos. You and Drew, dude. dude. You and Drew. You, Drew, and Mila. Mount Rushmore of no makeup. looking for sympathy. No makeup. Yeah. I was to make sure it was lit appropriately. And then I was like, listen, guys. Yeah. It's not. There's not. There's not 30 PR people behind this camera. It's just us here. And this I, isn't take 34. No. Oh my. We're fine. Dude. Hey, dude. Uh, Mr. and Mrs. Smith 4. Yes. Yeah, uh, so I, I like to think Donald Glover would do something to make it unique and creative and cool. Wait. That said, yeah. I'd like to see him make a different movie that has not already yeah. been made three and, times. And, and, and I'll, be, I'll be honest. I don't have time. I don't, I don't have a problem with this being made. Sure. I have a problem with the writers on strike and then that's what they're producing. Mm. Yeah. What are they? So they're on the late night slots. They're just showing remakes. Yeah. And no, and and and, and has anyone raised a hand? Right. No. Because no one's watching. No, dude. No one is. Has any? Have you heard anyone? You asked me. Yeah. You just asked me. September the twentieth. Yep. Of twenty twenty three. What are they doing with the late night shows? Just playing remakes? Because you didn't know. Haven't noticed. Haven't noticed there being a void in my life because there is not. They could air really cool stuff during that time. Why would they not use that time yeah. to spotlight? I don't know. New scripts that people have, like new Just projects re- people yeah. put together. Just like re- any, anything. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, during COVID, he was doing it from his house. Mm-hmm. Wasn't he? Mm-hmm. Jimmy Fallon was like at his house. Yep. Yeah. That's crazy. Sheesh, man. Oh, man. We got one email? We got uh, one email. One email. Let's get to it. Is it about Andrew? It is about Andrew. Andrew. Are you prepared for this? Uh, probably not. Here we Great. go. Read it out loud. It says, Andrew, go ahead. You want me to read it? Sure, bud. <laughs> Andrew has time and time again proven his value as an asset to the pod. Mm-hmm. Exceeded all expectations, filling in for Alex. Mm-hmm. Vietnam, you're welcome. And quote, the Lord only asked for 10. Our top tier podcast moments. Mm-hmm. He's now being recognized in public, making him a borderline celebrity. Mm-hmm. <laughs> if y'all don't get him a mic, I will personally start a GoFundMe to get him one. Wow. Hey, dude. hey. So how about? Right Give it to there, him. Right there, dude. Right there, Hey, bro. thank you all. Thank yeah. you all. Oh, yeah, yeah. Now, Give that man his flowers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This is, he's like immediately, he's immediately turned into Deion Sanders. Right. And they're like, all right, too cocky. Too I come cocky. in next week yeah. with just shades and yeah. a thick chain. Yeah. Yes, he's like, he has his own desk. We're like, how'd you get that yeah. desk? Yeah. No, no, I'm there. Yeah. He, like, yeah. yeah, you're sitting back what? here. How did this happen? That's funny because I, t- I was talking about the Deion Sanders thing. Yeah. Where like Deion Sanders, we talked about this before on the pod, mm-hmm. where he came from Jackson State, yep. which is, was irrelevant, put him on the map. Yeah. Okay. Then takes and everybody's like, dude, Deion Sanders, good for him, getting all these recruits. He knows how to recruit, use social media. Dude, this is awesome. Yeah. Takes the job at Colorado, now a Division I uh, power conference team in uh, what are they, Mountain West, Big 12, Big 10? I don't know what they're in. Uh-huh. They're like, dude, he's never going to win there, never going to succeed. It's going to be, going to be impossible. Beats a top 25 team first week, second week wins. And then he's like, and then he goes, the coach of uh, Colorado State this week said something about it. He's like, well, when I, and then he got, he's like, I'm a, we're going to show him who's boss now. And we're going to, uh, we're going to stomp on their throats and we're going to shove it down. And you're like, then you go, oh, too much, Dion. Uh-huh. Then I go, I'm going for Colorado State. Mm-hmm. And like, it just switched to we're like, love, 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 love. No, too much. What, you rooted for Colorado State? I wanted game? Colorado State to win. I was with Dion. Yes, you were yeah. riding with Dion. Mm-hmm. All right, well, let me know when you get off. Yeah, I'm riding with Dion until, until further when? notice. All right, until for, yeah, but it's gonna that that happens to everybody. Yeah, that happens to me. They go, we love him, we love him, we support him, good at it now, too much. Yeah, yeah. It's hard. It's hard though, because like it's hard for him to go too far for me. I think because they are such underdogs against like those top tier teams. Yeah, yeah. Like them yeah. beating TCU was massive, huge. Them beating Colorado State, huge. not very massive. Yeah, not very massive. It's yeah. They're they shouldn't beat them. They should be, or they like should beat them. They're yeah, unranked. Yeah, yeah. Like they should crush them. Yeah. But now, what's a scenario where you are, you're off of Dion? Uh, if they like, if they win the national championship this year yeah. or something like that, yeah, I'm all on board. Yeah, but if then they come out and try to be the underdog next year, yeah, 
is then, there, yeah, then yeah, I'm yeah. off. Because yeah. it's like, hey, you're not the underdog anymore. Yeah. You're, you're Imagine it. if Alabama yeah. started to be like, well, and some fans do. Yeah. They start to play like, oh, they counted us out. And it's like, dude, no one counted no, you no out. One you're counted Alabama. You out, right? Yeah. That's, now you can, that's where I would You off. can still succeed, but you have to switch up the narrative. Yeah. You're like, we got a target on our backs. So. Yes. Yeah. Bingo. And yeah, now you, I'm back. Yeah. Then you're like, all right, good. I'm back with yeah, you now. I know what that is. Mm -hmm. And we're on top and it's tough to remain up here. Yeah. And we want to stay up here and we're yep. going to do the best we can. You're yeah. Like, all right. I'm, yeah. I'm with you. I'm riding with Dion. Oh, uh, yeah. You're riding with Dion. Yeah. All right, dude. Three weeks in a row. He's 3 0. Uh, we going out this week. We're headed up to Canada, baby. Yes, sir. We're going all over the uh, charts, baby. Come see us up in Ottawa, Peterborough, London, Ontario. I'm sure I'll come back. I'll come back next week with some stories mm -hmm. about the Canadians. Can't wait. Justin Trudeau's coming to the show. Is he actually? Really? No. Oh, oh goodness. <laughs> I was like, bro, what? Oh, I'm so surprised by that. He would come. I was going to be excited. Not surprised. Wait, where's the capital? The capital of Ottawa. Canada? I think it is Ottawa. Gosh, where does Justin dude, Trudeau I don't live? know what the capital of Canada is. What is the capital of Canada? I think it's Ottawa. Or might be that might be the capital of Ontario. It is Ottawa. You're right. City of Canada. No, no, they're not. Mm -hmm. It's all of Canada. Ottawa. Yeah. We're going to the capital. There you go. And we're going to storm it. No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, to wrap the show up, as always, with things we do not care about for the week of September the twentieth. Number one, Colin Kaepernick's return to the NFL. Number two, real housewife Shannon Bedore arrested for DUI hit and run. The, the Roman Empire, Drew Barrymore, all things Oprah, yeah, sure. and as always, weird, but on the, the writer strike. We'll see you next on week. The, the, it, it was a positive. It was a positive. <laughs> you cannot be serious. But on the net, it's a positive. <laughs>